It is Zoo Week on Wisconsin tonight. So far, we've seen Jaguar Cubs, hyenas. Last night, we got to see the guys that drove the yeah. and maintained the trains. Trains were fun. Yeah. And tonight, we give you a behind the scenes look at the horticulturists who make the zoo look so wonderful. Here's Jesse Garcia. The Milwaukee County Zoo horticulturalists are much more than groundskeepers. We do grow plant material for the animals to eat, like for in the summertime, we have a vegetable garden for them where they can have like zucchinis and uh, watermelon. Our elephants can eat basically a truckload of sugar maple or willow a day. They have a huge appetite for it. We also grow plant material not only for the animals, but for our visitors. Some of our uh, sandwiches have fresh basil on, which we grow here as well. The horticulturalists also work with the animal caretakers to figure out how to make the creatures happy. For the bird exhibit, we do a lot of uh, plantings for them. And some of what we try to do for the birds is to give them shelter to make them feel relaxed. Also, sometimes birds just are having a bad day. And so instead of them ripping out the plants that we we just put in, we'll give them what we call a therapy plant. And we'll put that pretty much in the middle of their exhibit so it's easy for them to get to. And it's they just kind of go at it and rip it all apart. Keeping the animals happy is key, and so is keeping zoo visitors engaged. That's where the topiaries come in. Topiaries are those large creations made completely out of wire and plants. The zoo horticulturalists make those too. Topiaries are not something you really find in the average home garden, so it's nice for people who have a gardening interest to come to our facility and see something you know unique that they don't have in their own home. The horticulturalists look at examples from other facilities and also create their own unique garden design. My favorite topiary is the train topiary. We had a collaboration a few years ago with a House of Corrections program that welded that that frame for us customly and. It just dovetails with the train station and the visitor experience of the train ride just perfectly. The horticulturalists grow all of the plants for the topiaries and do all of their own trimming and maintenance. Overall in gardening, it does help to have an eye for what colors go good together and you know even what, what sort of leaf patterns, leaf textures complement one another in the flower bed. But you do need to combine it with uh, knowledge of what plants go right in the right location so that you combine the visual aspect of the way the plants present themselves with the growing aspect of the plants as well. Jesse Garcia, today's TMJ4. Wow, beautiful, cool. aren't they? Hmm. And the horticulturists actually start to plant topiaries areas month, months in advance. Yeah, they're going to plant in September. The plants are going to use as the topiaries for the following summer. Uh, by the way, tomorrow we're going to hop into the pool, so to speak, and see the stingray and shark exhibit. You can actually... You're going to hop in the pool? I'm not going oh, okay. to, we, but you can touch <laughs> the stingrays not as they me. go by. Okay, and if you miss any of the other Zoo Week stories, you can check them out on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight. And don't forget to check out the behind-the-scenes sections for pictures of Zoo Weeks that were shot. And a shout-out to our producer, Rachel Glosh, who came up with this idea. It's been fun to see this behind-the-scenes stuff. And, you know, stuff. a lot of people don't ever get to see it this yeah, close. Yeah, and so. thanks to Jesse Excellent. Garcia as yeah. well. well